Our transportation options are rapidly expanding. Consumers are on the hunt for alternatives to traditional gas-powered vehicles that will leave less of a lasting impact on our environment. Despite the rising availability of electric cars and hybrids, gasoline still rules the road. Any car that runs on gas or diesel uses an internal combustion engine. It's what makes the vehicle move. Internal combustion engines accounted for more than 90% of global car sales in 2019. They've been around since 1858, when John Joseph Etienne Lenoir patented the first commercially successful one. By 1876, Nicholas Otto had patented the four-stroke engine, which is the form of internal combustion engine used today. The internal combustion engine has come a long way over the years, and the technology will likely continue to evolve alongside more green alternatives. Despite its prevalence, many car owners still don't know exactly what happens under the hood. To work, the engine converts chemical energy into kinetic energy. It does so through a four-stroke combustion cycle, which includes the intake stroke, the compression stroke, combustion stroke, and the exhaust stroke. Intake. The first stage of the cycle begins with the piston at the top of the cylinder. As the engine's crankshaft revolves, the piston moves downward and the intake valve opens to let in a cylinder full of air and the tiniest bit of gasoline. Compression. The next stage is the compression stroke. Here the piston moves back up, compressing the fuel and air mixture. The piston forms a perfect seal with the cylinder, thus increasing the pressure in the space containing the fuel and the air. Ignition. Once the piston reaches the top of the chamber, the vehicle's spark plug emits a spark to ignite the gasoline, resulting in an explosion, which drives the piston back down. The release of the piston turns the crankshaft, which converts the up and down motion into rotational motion to drive the vehicle's wheels, and the next piston moves up its cylinder. Exhaust. In the final stage, once the piston reaches the bottom of its stroke, the exhaust valve opens, and the exhaust gases leave the cylinder and go out the tailpipe. Then the cycle continues. The whole process happens rapidly, and the temperatures can reach up to 4,500 degrees F inside the cylinder. However, thanks to proper cooling, the running temperature of an engine is much lower, around 200 degrees F. So the next time you go for a drive, take a moment to appreciate all the work happening behind the scenes.